You ask a little kid what they want to do, at least for my generation. It's like, I want to be an astronaut or a fireman. Since I'm a little kid, I wanted to be a fireman. And I had the astronaut period too, but that didn't seem too obtainable. So I went with civil service. I found out things about myself that I didn't know. I had a lot more courage than I thought I did. I gained some confidence through firefighting because I felt like I needed something that was gonna push me. You know, you're running into the buildings where people are running out of. All you're doing is like putting your ass on the line and helping people. To be a firefighter, is a, you're getting the gift from the gods. I'm retired, now I can just indulge. I feel like I'm so like unleashed. I put a lot of effort and thought into creating this room. I felt like I didn't need a formal living room anymore. And one day I was just like, why don't I just turn this room into a studio? Every time I want to work, I don't have to get dressed, go out of the house. I just roll out of bed. And sometimes, even while the coffee's making, I might want to, you know, start working on something and touch something up, and I'm still in my pajamas, and... This is my safe space. <laughs> I've always been surrounded by abandoned buildings. <laughs> now they're right here in my studio. I get lost in this. This is keeping me sane. It looks pretty cool from this angle. Wow, I've never looked from here like this, at this level. It's fucking amazing, actually. Moving into the Lower East Side in 1980 was, it was the Wild West. And I always liked the danger. I remember the guys used to joke around. They'd say, you know, when you go home, you're the only guy who's going to a neighborhood worse than where he works. <laughs> I had abandoned buildings across the street and next door. But um, I always liked it. I'm recreating a lot from memory. There was just something about the smell of like going into a burnt out building. The decades are like plaster and moldings and wooden lath and hardwood floors, all this stuff just decayed and just, I don't know, it just, it was very, very comfortable to me. I realized that I had a strong attraction to architecture, and I found myself looking at all types of buildings all the time and became very attuned to looking at details of buildings. You know, those walkways, enclosed walkways that connect factory buildings? And they just always seem so helter-skelter. And sometimes they're level, and sometimes they're on angles, and sometimes they're poured concrete, and sometimes they're corrugated steel. It's been an amazing education, learning how to build these things. You know, and I have no formal art training. I mean, when I started this, I walked into an art supply store and I'm looking at brushes and I'm like, I have to learn how to uh, be okay with making mistakes, be okay with the time it takes. It sort of reminds me about firefighting. My, my work was extremely rewarding. I feel like I have so much that I want to express and, and you know, I love doing this. This is like my walking meditation. <laughs>